Hello and welcome to Luminar Coffee Break. I'm Benelli, the Director of, Ed of Education for Skylum. And what I want to show you today is how to use the Texture Overlay tool just to add a little interesting texture to a background um, of one of the images. And let me show you. So here we are with an image. It was shot on an all gray background. Kind of boring, but we livened it up a bit just by developing the image and then adding a little texture to it. Let me show you how I did this. We'll start at the very beginning. Here's the original image. And if you noticed, let me zoom out a little bit. I cropped it all the way to the bottom here. Here we go. I cropped it and I kept the dimensions, the five by, uh, the three by two dimensions which came out of the camera, and I just converted a portrait into a landscape photo. Then from here, I'll show you a simple processing I did. So I just processed the image before we started adding the texture to it. Just did a real quick, simple process, and I'll show you what that is. If you notice off to the side, any of the icons here, any of the tools that are highlighted, means those are the tools that were used to process this image. Under the essential tools where us photographers are gonna live, of course, I use my AI enhancer just to get the color, detail, tone and depth of the image in sync. Add a little bit of texture using the detail enhancer. Then with vignette, I drew your eye to the subject. And then for the pro tools, I like using the adjustable gradient. I did that because off to the side here, it was just a little too bright, so I darkened it just a bit. And last, the color enhancer, just very little. If you notice, just making it pop just a bit. All right, so there we have it. So that right there is just a real quick, simple developing of your photo. And if you notice what I just did there was a simple created a, a luminar look, and I'll include it in the description below, that I usually start with, and then use that as a base and build it from there. So now that we have our base set, the texture overlay tool can be found under the creative tool section. Now, I'm gonna load one of the textures. So I double click, right, let me just do this, I'll reset it. I'm gonna load the texture, and these textures you can find almost anywhere on the web. Just type in textures, um, overlays, and you'll find a ton of them. I'm gonna put the opacity to 100%. Here's where the change comes in. I wanna change the screen mode or the, the blend mode. Let's go to, I like hard light. And under the advanced settings, let's bump up the contrast just a bit just to make it look a little bit interesting in the background. And we can even darken it. Nope, I'm gonna bring it out light, just a little bit lighter. Now all I'm looking at is behind her. I'm not looking at her. I'm looking at what's behind her. Now we're gonna click on Edit Mask. So each of our tools has an Edit Mask, mask feature. Clicking Erase, so what I wanna do now, at 100% opacity, I want to erase the effect that's on her. So now you could do it with a with a, a mouse. I'm finding that I have a drawing tablet here, so I'm going to use the drawing part. It makes it a little bit easier to make your selections. We'll use left and right bracket keys to make the brush bigger or smaller. All right. So here I am. I have it on. I have it set. Um, and then just erase. I'm going to do a real quick outline that will come back to get more detail. Changing the brush size. Good. And if I go over, it's okay, because then we'll just paint back in the effect. Good, right about here. Let's not forget the hair. That's it. Good. And now we'll click on the visibility icon of the, the mask. 
So this is showing me where I'm painting and if any areas need to be touched up. Good. All right. Now, using the X key as a keyboard shortcut, I switch over to paint. And then I'm going to come back in, maybe make the brush just a little smaller, and come down, switch back again. So this is where a little finessing comes in. Now, this is not that big of a deal. It doesn't have to be that precise because you'll see that the effect gets um, hidden with the, the background. There we go. And you know what? Let's change the opacity down just a little bit. I want to paint back in again. Right up in here. Good. So I'm just going over it a couple times. That's it. All right, you know what? This part's killing me. Even though this doesn't make a difference, I want to add it in there. There. So certain things will be noticeable and others won't. There, there we have it. Now, one last step. I want to come down here to the feathering option. And now, watch, we can go all the way out, but I'd rather go right about here. Just a touch. So, ooh, that's making a nice selection all the way around. And there we have it. So I'll click done. Great. So we started with this, developed the image, and now we added that interesting texture in the background. Now we could take it another step further. Since this is on a layer mask here, or a, a, a tool mask, if I apply the structure tool, the structure tool is only going to affect her and notice it's not affecting the background. So what we can do is come up here to a layer and I want to create a new stamp layer. So the new stamp layer is going to merge all the tools that we created onto its new layer. So if I wanted to keep all the tools intact and not set them or reset them, I would use an adjustment layer. So a stamp layer is going to merge everything we have, all the tools we use, and put it on that new layer. So here we are. Now I can come in and use the structure tool and notice how it's gonna adjust the background and not affect her. Right about here, that's good. Good, and you have to decide, is it make, does it make that big of a difference? Honestly, it doesn't. So in this case here, I'll just come back up to my layers and I could delete the layer and I'm back with the original. While I'm at the original, once again, I can decide if I want to increase the color just a bit. Ooh, I like that right here. Bring back. Great. And last but not least, Whenever you work on an image like this, it's always best to, to take the adjustment amount back to zero and then bring it between 50 and let's say 70%. I'm going to go a little bit farther on this image. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it right about here. Great. So once again, before and after. So that was a real quick way to add texture to a background on an image. You can do the same concept by adding texture to an entire image and make it look like a painterly effect. Great. So, hey, please do me a favor. Leave comments below and let us know what you think of this, these uh, quick tutorials. And, and if you like uh, what we just did, please don't forget to click the like button and comment and share this with your friends. We're going to continue to do these quick uh, coffee break um, te techniques on each of our tools. If you have a suggestion, leave a comment with a suggestion on which tool you'd like to see us to work on or to learn more about. Well, guys, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you at the next uh, coffee break.